Hey folks, it's me, Michael Bach, your Diversity Dude, and this is Monday Morning Musings. Hey, so what did you do this weekend? Me, I spent a lot of time in the backyard, you know, getting it ready for summer. And of course, saw my father. And what did the Quebec government do? They eroded people's human rights. So if you didn't hear, and I don't know how you didn't hear, but the Quebec government over the weekend held a marathon sitting where they debated two pieces of legislation, Bill 9, the immigration reform bill, and Bill 21, the secularism bill. And they were so determined to get the legislation passed before the end of the weekend that they invoked closure, which is a mechanism that governments can use in order to shut down debate and force a vote. Now, Bill 9, the immigration reform bill, it uh, completely scraps about 18,000 immigration applications that are already in the process. And it applies a, uh, a test to uh, determine if immigrants have Quebec values yes, that is actually happening um, as part of the process. Now, Bill 21, the so-called secularism bill, it makes it illegal for a person who is in a public service job, so teachers, police officers, doctors, to wear religious symbols of any kind. Uh, so uh, Hindus, Sikhs, Muslims, Jews. Um, Christians, of course, can just plop their, uh, their uh, cross inside their shirt and, of course, will be i'll be interested to see if it actually uh happens if a christian gets uh punished for this but it also makes it illegal for the provision of service to a person who has their face covering now what faith covers their face is it the christians the jews the six oh no it's the muslims so basically let's call it what it is this is the muslim ban and the government knows this is wrong and you know how i know this is wrong because they're including the notwithstanding clause now, if you're not familiar with the notwithstanding clause or section 31, I believe it is, it's part of the Charter and Rights and Freedoms. It was included in 1981 at the objection of the then Prime Minister Senior Trudeau, but it was included particularly to appease Western uh, premiers um, so that if they didn't agree with something, they could push legislation through anyway. And it basically gives them a pass for five years. So they can uh, erode people's human rights, but it's on a limited time scale. So uh, the Quebec government included uh, the notwithstanding clause in the passing of Bill 21 because they know it's going to court. They know that it's going to go up to the Supreme Court of Canada and it's going to be found in contravention of the Charter of Human Rights but because of the inclusion of the notwithstanding clause, they can get away with it. This government has gone completely off the rails. I, I cannot believe that they spent time passing legislation to discriminate legally a small group of people. Um, and one thing and one thing only is gonna happen with this. People are gonna leave. People are going to leave Quebec. There is going to be a mass exodus, largely from Montreal, of people from Sikh, Hindu, Jewish, Islam, as well as people that are just conscious objectors that just look at this legislation and say, we're going the wrong direction. If the Quebec government really cared about Quebecers, and I mean all Quebecers, they would be spending time educating people on diversity, on the inclusiveness of religion in society. They are going the wrong direction. And ultimately, we will see an increase in hate crimes against people from visible religions. And we will see a mass exodus of people from the province of Quebec. Mark my words. June 17, 2019, I'm going on record saying that this will happen. I hope I'm wrong, but I know I'm not. I would encourage you to write, to tweet, to make your voice be heard. If you disagree with this legislation, make as much noise as you can. We need to make as much noise as we can so that the Quebec government wakes up and realizes they've made a mistake and they change it. Thanks for watching. 
I hope you have a fantastic week. Remember to subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link and also connect with me on uh, different social media platforms like Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I am Diversity Dude MB. That's it for me. I hope you have a fantastic week and I will see you next week for another episode of Monday Morning Musics. Thank you.